Hello everyone, Kosuke. When you come to Japan, what do you want to eat? Yes, ramen. It's a popular dish. But did you know ramen has various types in Japan? We've got many regional ramen. For example, ramen you eat in Fukuoka and ramen in Hokkaido are different. There are so many, but don't worry. Today I'm going to show you four main Japanese ramen types you should remember. Tonkotsu, miso, shio, and show you. By watching this video, you'll be acquiring basic ramen knowledge that we Japanese people have. Ready for ramen journey? Let's go! Okay, the first ramen restaurant I visit today is Ippudo. Maybe some of you are already familiar with the name of restaurant because it's famous. Ippudo is loved by lots of foreign celebrities. For example, Rihanna. She loves Ippudo. Also, British celebrities David Beckham, Victoria Beckham, and their family enjoyed Ippudo ramen when they came to Japan. Ippudo is one of the most famous Japanese ramen chains in the world. Another Japanese ramen chain famous in the world is Ichiran. Ichiran and Ippudo, they are both from Fukuoka, Hakata. They are good rivals. If you are interested in Ichiran, please watch my video about Ichiran as well. Today, Let's enter Ippudo. Okay, turning the menu into English for you. What ramen does Ippudo offer? It's tonkotsu ramen. Tonkotsu is a pork broth. The menu is quite simple to choose. Ramen shiromaru, akamaru, and karaka. Shiromaru is Ippudo standard with creamy tonkotsu soup. It's a signature menu. Akamaru got a special sauce on it. Karaka is a spicy version. I'm gonna order Akamaru with some toppings today. You can select how hard the noodle is. My ramen has arrived. This is Akamaru. Special Ippudo's red sauce is in the center of ramen. The black one is fragrant garlic oil. Let's taste the soup. Mmm, really nice tonkotsu. Noodle. I'm putting another topping, takana. I don't know how to explain Takana in English. I searched English translation. It says pickled mustard greens. To be honest, the translation doesn't make sense. Just come to Japan and check what Takana is. Takana is Takana. Noodle with Takana is amazing. Oh, I found sesame seeds. Grinding sesame seeds by myself is fun. It can change soup flavor. Egg. I like an egg, the important topping. Seaweed with noodle. By the way, this is not water, I'm drinking tea. It's free of charge. It tastes nice and suits ramen perfectly. I like this. I hear many foreign languages spoken here. It seems more than 90% are foreign customers. I guess this is because Ippudo is internationally famous. Also, the restaurant is located in Ginza, which is a luxury shopping area popular with tourists. In my opinion, tonkotsu ramen is the most dominant type of ramen in Japan. Tonkotsu is the biggest, I think. Ippudo's ramen is authentic tonkotsu. It never lets you down. Okay, let's go to the next ramen place. The next ramen restaurant is Tenkai Bin. Tenkai Bin is originally from Kyoto. This ramen chain is famous for 
こってり。Today, I came here to eat こってり max. It says the ramen soup is not for drinking, it's for eating. What does こってり mean? Well, it's difficult to translate into English. The closest meaning English word is maybe rich and heavy. Tenka Ippin's Kotteri fans are addicted to Kotteri, so they kept asking more Kotteri, more Kotteri, please. In response to customers' requests, recently the restaurant released Kotteri Max. Kotteri Max is extreme Kotteri. Kotteri Max Ramen. And chashu pork rice bowl. Can you see it? The soup is very thick. It's almost like a solid rather than a liquid. I thought Tenka Ippin soup was tonkotsu, but actually, it wasn't pork broth. They used loads of vegetables and chicken to cook the soup. Let's eat. Mm, the soup is the most kotteri soup I've ever had. Kotteri max is delicious for me, but it's definitely not for ramen beginners. If you try ramen in Japan for the first time, I recommend you eat normal kotteri, because this kotteri max is probably too heavy for you. <laughs> the noodle got tangled, so it doesn't come to my mouth smoothly. The original chili miso sauce. Mmm, it's better with the sauce. Tenka Ippin is a ramen chain loved by Japanese people, but it hasn't been found by foreigners yet. So, there are more Japanese customers than foreign tourists in this restaurant. Tenka Ippin is worth visiting. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next ramen shop is Hokkaido Ramen Misokuma. It's in Tokyo. I'm gonna have miso ramen with butter and sweet corns. Itadakimasu. Miso ramen and gyoza. As you can see, miso ramen soup is kind of yellowish, like miso soup. Miso ramen is from Hokkaido, Sapporo. Miso broth is rich, but not too heavy. I'm taking photos on Instagram. Follow me on Insta. Haha, <laughs> don't spend too much time on taking pictures like me. It's bad for ramen. Eat ramen whilst it's fresh. Don't copy my way. I'm a horrible customer. Extra garlic chips. Fried onions. Garlic again. I'm so garlicky now. I can't meet anyone tomorrow. To my previous ramen video on YouTube, someone left a comment Hey Kosuke, do Japanese people drink alcohol with ramen? My answer is、mm, not really. 
Yes, you can drink alcohol, but we don't really drink alcohol with ramen. The most common way is we eat ramen after we drink alcohol. To finish your night out, we want to eat ramen. It's like a kebab in the UK. When I used to live in the UK, I enjoyed eating kebabs after drinking at night with friends. Here in Japan, we eat ramen. That's why many ramen shops are open over midnight here in Japan. Right now, I'm eating ramen at 2 a.m. But we gotta be careful. If we eat ramen too much at late night, we can easily gain weight. Japan got a countless number of ramen restaurants. Delicious ramen are everywhere throughout Japan. So I suggest you try random small ramen restaurants. There are so many great ramen restaurants run by small business owners or families. It's fun to find hidden gems. If you have questions about Japanese ramen culture, please leave any comments. I will answer them if I can. Gotsou sama de shita. Okay, let's go to the next ramen spot. On the next day, I came to Tokyo Station. The Tokyo Station's basement floor is for shopping and eating. There's a corridor called Tokyo Ramen Street. On the Tokyo Ramen Street, there are six ramen restaurants. There used to be eight. Hopefully, new ramen restaurants will take the unoccupied space again. I chose this ramen shop, Sora no Iro. I'm going to have shoyu ramen here. This is shoyu ramen. Shoyu means soy sauce. This brown soup is soy sauce based broth. I like the way they put toppings. Look, chashu poke is like a flower. Soup is quite light, it's very smooth. Delicious. This is menma, bamboo shoots. Shoyu ramen is apparently from Tokyo. It is one of the oldest ramen types. You know, Japan, we've been using soy sauce for our food from ancient times. This restaurant, Sora no Iro, offers vegan and gluten-free ramen. Personally, I've never eaten vegan ramen. It's rare for Japanese ramen restaurants to have vegan choices. If you're looking for vegan ramen, this restaurant should be nice for you. For your information, we Japanese people stay in ramen restaurants for average 30 minutes or less. Especially at busy lunch and dinner time, next customers are waiting. You don't need to hurry up, but once you finish eating, you should get out of the restaurant. We can't stay there for hours on busy days. Ramen restaurants want to serve as many customers as possible. It's their business. Finally, Let's enter another ramen shop on Tokyo Ramen Street, Hirugao. Oh, this clear soup. You can tell this is shio ramen. 
Xiu means salt. Xiu ramen is from Hokkaido, Hakodate. I've never been to Hokkaido. It must be a good place to eat ramen. There's a prawn inside. <laughs> the ramen was very hot. I need cold water. Another question I was asked is, Hey Kosuke, should we drink up the soup to show respect for ramen chefs? My answer is, no, you don't have to. I usually drink up the soup because I can eat a lot, but it's not mandatory. You don't have to if you don't want to. No worries. Maybe when I was a child, like, I don't know, 20 years ago, it was believed that we must drink up the soup. But now, time has changed. People care more about health. Ramen soup's calories and sodium levels are quite high. It's delicious, but not very healthy. As long as you say, Gochisousama deshita, or thank you, ramen chefs will understand you enjoy the food. Which type of ramen do you want to try? Hit the like button, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.